are going to cover a Darce Choke from the bottom. So there's a few ways to set up the Darce Choke from playing guard. Um, it's a little harder to do from the bottom. Darce Chokes usually open up from the top when someone turns into and tries to get an underhook and shoot the Darce Choke, but there are a couple things you can do from the bottom which are really effective. Uh, first one, I want the side piler. This one's going to be off the arm drag as well. Okay, I'm going to do it on the opposite side so you can see. I'm going to arm drag the same way I showed you, pushing the wrist in. Okay, but instead of trying to come to the back, I'm pulling him forward and trying to make him base here, okay, to the opposite side hip. As I pull him forward, that opens up his arm here. His arm is spread out. This hand, remember, darts chokes come from the armpit to the neck, anaconda chokes come from the neck to the armpit. So darts is here, okay? Now my goal is not to have my thumb on his neck, not to have it here. I want my thumb wrapped around the back of his neck, okay? If your thumb is over the back of his neck, like if I were trying to hook his spine with my thumb, that's the proper positioning. I want to get it as deep as possible so that my elbow lines up with his esophagus here, okay? The crook of my elbow goes to his esophagus. Then I straighten my hand and I bring this hand over. Now I don't just bring it straight across because then I'll just lock over my fingers. I actually bring it down on his head. Down, I'm pinching his head down. And then I use this hand to hook over the top. Okay, that's very important. If you shoot a dart, you just come over the top. You'll just get it on your fingers. It's not going to be tight. We have to make sure we use a little bit of strength to pop his head down with our arm. So I rotate my arm down. Then I use this one to chop up. It's called the karate chop technique. You chop up to get as deep as you can, and we come over his back. Okay, now I don't want to just put it flat on his back. I want to squeeze super tight, like I'm doing a rear naked choke. Now, if you did all that correctly and you're super deep on the darts, you're going to be able to finish it right here. You can just squeeze, and it's super tight. Like Tyler's gulping for air down there. So, from here, if I still can't finish it, I just tilt him. Okay, I'm trying to tilt him this way, put him on, on his side. And this is the position you usually finish Darces from. It's from the top position here. From here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chest on the top of his arm. Okay, I'm putting my chest right here, stuck to his arm. And then I drive forward. What that does is when I drive forward like that, I'm really forcing his arm across his neck. You see his neck, is, his arm is squished across his face and his neck. That's what I want. So I'm here, instead of just squeezing, I drive forward and then squeeze. It's very tight. Okay, then there's another option where I can drop to my hip and throw the leg over, trying to hook his legs. Just like we finished the anaconda choke earlier. I like to finish it like this sometimes just because people can get scrambly and start to try and roll. I like to latch onto him with my legs to finish the darts. Then from here, I just compress everything in, squeezing my elbows in, arm up towards the face, and then this hand squeezes up as well. Everything's squeezing in tight. And then if you still can't finish it, you want to take a deep breath of air before you do all that. You go, and then squeeze. So that expands your chest. So even if it's only an inch of expansion, it makes a lot of difference in a choke, okay? So same thing, arm drag. I'm immediately shooting the hand through. I've already got it in my head that I want to shoot the dart, so I'm not even going for the back right now. I'm faking like I'm going to the back, and then I shoot the hand through. This hand comes, remember, I shoot across, down, karate chop, up, reach all the way across. Then from here, if I want to finish, I can pull him into me and squeeze. If that's not enough, I can tilt him to the left, put him down, chest forward, and sprawl the finish, or I can hook the leg. Pull him in tight to me, and then squeeze. All those are super tight finishes. You can finish it from either of those positions. And the good thing about a Darsh is once you lock onto him, you guys could roll all over the mat, all over the place. You could stand up, you, whatever. As long as you have that grip, you can finish it from there. And you can hook around the leg and then squeeze. Okay, last time. Here. It's a darts from the arm drag.